Let's say you have a friend who is a geometer and he just came to USA and he realized that he was used to the meters system, to the metric system. Now he has to use feet to, me to measure distances. So um, you are the programmer and he asks you, uh, he tells you, hey, you know, Python, um, can you make him a program where I can easily convert meters to feet units? You say, yeah, I can do that right away. You, and you start meters, feet. You know, so you define a function that get meters as input and and the coefficient, which is always 3.28084. So one meter is equal to this amount of feet. And then you return meters times the coefficient. And then you include a print function here that prints out the feet given an amount of meters. So you try the, fun uh, the function and you get the expected output. So 10 meters is equal to this 32 point something feet. So what you do next is you just get this script.py file and send it to your friend and tell him to use it. Then your friend gets back to you and says, I have no idea what to do with that file because your friend doesn't know Python, uh, which is normal. Uh, most of the people, they don't know Python. So you cannot just give them a, a .py script and expect them to use that file. They will have to install Python and they will have to edit this file and they will have to enter different values here for any conversion they want to make. But that is not user friendly. What you want to give to your friend instead or to anyone that needs the program to do something is this here. You need to give them a graphical user interface where they could click and push buttons instead of working on a script, which is meant for programmers, not for normal users. So here they can just input a number and get uh, the conversion by just pressing a button. So in this section, I'm going to show you how to go from here to this nice program. And in the section after that, we're going one step further and uh, we're going to learn how to make this into a web app that everyone can visit by just visiting your uh, address, your URL on the browser so they can use your programmer through, through the browser. So in this section, the desktop GUI, the desktop graphical user interface, in the next section, the web app. So I hope you have fun with these programs. See you.